This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. Welcome to our flower series. In this video, we're piping easy buttercream succulents. It's broken down into steps so you can skip ahead, rewind, and rewatch as desired. We're going to mix the color for our easy succulent, and I've got some American style buttercream in here. You can use whatever kind you like. And we're gonna use the following liquid gel colors. Royal blue, lemon yellow, and just a touch of violet. I wanna make a little bit of an intense color, so I'm gonna start with drops of my blue and my yellow, and I want it to be more blue than yellow, so definitely more drops of that royal than the lemon. And then I'm gonna do some nice little specks of purple. I'm just going to give it a mix around. And I want to make a nice intense color that has a tinge of that purple to it. And really gives us kind of the overall look and feel of a succulent. A lot of them have kind of like a purplish glow or hue towards the edges. I'm not going to stripe the bag or anything, so I want to make a color that kind of feels a little bit in between and reads a bit like the overall look. So I like where this is going. I think I just need a little more of that purple. There we go. And that's a beautiful in-between shade there that gives us that kind of succulent vibe and we use that purple to give it just that little bit of dullness, just to give it that hint of that color. We're going to use two bags for this little flower, and we've got them both fitted directly with the tips. The first we have loaded up with half of our green, and it has a number 352 on it. So you can see that's a nice, small, or regular-sized V-shape open leaf tip. The second bag we've loaded with the other half of our buttercream and it has a large V-shaped open leaf tip on it and this one is a number 366. We're gonna review the techniques for our easy succulent and this one is really simple. It's basically only two little techniques. The first is a mound we're gonna make with our 366. This prevents us from having to use another bag with a round tip to make a little mound to pipe on. We're going to use our leaf tip, hold the bag straight up and down, squeeze it out, and then we'll spin the nail to create the mound. So spin and pull up slowly, kind of like you would if you were trying to make that cone in the center of your rose. You just wanna pull up so you get a nice little mound to it and it's going to have a bit of a swirl and some texture to it. That's not really a big deal because the leaves we're going to put on the side are pretty big and they'll attach easily. Now let's talk about the leaves or petals we're going to put on these easy succulents. We're going to use both our 352 and our 366 to do this. So obviously the ones we make with our 366 are larger. The ones we make with our 352 are just smaller because it's just the size of the tip. But we're going to hold and use them basically the same way. We'll have one of the points touching the surface, the other one straight up, and we're gonna squeeze them just like we do regular leaves. And so I'm gonna squeeze, hold in place, make it nice, fat, and wide, and then pull out quickly. And that's gonna give us that kind of short, truncated shape that's gonna give us that little succulent look. And we'll do this with both the small and the large one. And based on where we are on our little mound that we make, we're gonna hold at a 45 degree angle and slide on that, 
or we're gonna hold at that 45 degree angle and pull straight up, or maybe at a slightly steeper angle. So think instead of 45, somewhere in between, like 65, 70 degrees. So just a little bit more of a steeper angle. And that's gonna help us make these little leaves or petals that we're putting on the side kind of look as if they're blooming open. So some in the top and the middle will be straight up, and some on the sides will go to the side. So that angle of the back end of the bag will change a little bit and the motion that we pull on will change just a little bit as well. We're going to build our blossom using our two easy techniques. The first is that mound. We're going to take our bag with our 366. We're going to hold it upright just above the surface, give it a squeeze while we twist our nail, and that's going to create a little spiral mound for us. It's going to have a little texture. That's just fine. And we just want to pull up a little bit so that it has both a little height to match that width. And then when we're ready, we'll just stop squeezing and pull away. You don't have to worry about peaks or anything like that on this because it's going to get covered up. We're then going to change the angle we're holding the bag, so we're gonna pull it over to 45 degrees. We'll start at the base of the mound to pipe our first large petal. And we're using our 366, so we want them to be nice and fat, so we're gonna hold steady and still while we let it balloon out nice and big, and then we'll pull away sharply so that it'll have that nice, tapered, short look to it. You're gonna go all the way around your mound and do those. It probably should take about four to five. Then we're going to move up the side of our mound and do a second layer. Start offset between the first and do them a little bit smaller. So think about this, you can control the size of those petals or leaves, whatever you wanna call them, by squeezing just a little less. So don't go quite the same width you did before, even though we're using the same tip before you pull. So we're just gonna go a little smaller and pull a little quicker. We'll do a second row if there's room if you made your mound really tall you can always do a third with 366 but most likely that will take up most of the side doing two layers of those petals with the 366 and we'll switch to our 352. we'll come in around the outside edge and we'll just pull some small ones these will probably be at a slightly steeper angle so think instead of 45 we're probably at about 60. And then we'll finish it off by doing some straight up and down in the middle. And just kind of think of going in concentric circles. And the last part will probably end up being a triangle or trio there in the middle that goes straight up. Now that we've reviewed our techniques and how we're going to combine them, we're ready to start piping. And I've got my three inch flower nail. I have it fitted with a little piece of parchment paper that I've just attached using a tiny bit of extra buttercream. I've got my bag with my large 366 tip on it and I want to hold it just up off the surface so it's got a little room to balloon out so think let it balloon out twist all the way around and build up a nice little mound for yourself there we go so you can see it's easy to build up a little kind of textured mound just by spiraling and pulling up a tiny bit now we're going to put on our first row of petals we're going to touch the surface with the tip that bottom one and the top one will probably dig just a little bit into the mound that's great we want to make sure they connect so that when we squeeze our leaf balloons out nice and big and we pull to a beautiful little point so you can see it's got that kind of fat squat short look and the little point comes up off the surface of our nail we're going to go right next to it so think go over about a half an inch and do the next one we want room for them to balloon out and expand and it's perfectly fine if they're touching just a little bit. So again, nice and fat and squat and pull out. And just keep going until you make it all the way around. And your last one might cover up the edges of the other two. So the second to last and the first a little bit and that's just fine so you can see it only took us five to get all the way around for that first layer we're going to do our second layer so we've moved from touching the nail to being up on the side i'm going to start in the middle of two of my previous petals on the previous row and i'm just going to go here let it connect and pull out so you can see it's much quicker because we need to make it smaller and this means then that it's going to cover up the space in between 
and give us a cute little look for that second row. I don't have room for a third row with my large tip. You can see I've mostly covered the sides and it's really just the top of that mound that's sticking out now and uncovered. So I'm switching to my bag with my 352. So it's a smaller version of the same tip. And I'm gonna start in between two of those little petals from the previous row. I'm gonna take my bag back and up just a little bit. So not 45, not 90, just go in between and we're gonna go around, same kind, short squat, little leaves, quick pull at the end. That should give them that nice little characteristic shape. And just start offset from the ones before, and that should give you a nice little look to these. And then when I go to start filling in the center, I'm gonna pull the back end of the bag up even more. Just rotate as I go try and fill in. And the last one will probably squeeze in at a funny little angle. So kind of to the side. And you can see that fills it in and that gives us a beautiful look to our succulent. These are nice and big and they'll really take up some area and you can make them in a wide variety of colors. We chose this kind of medium tone color that has a cool blue feel to it to give us that great little succulent vibe. But these are a great kind of high drama flower that's actually a type of greenery. That's all for this lesson, and if you enjoyed creating these easy succulents with us, try checking out our original succulent video for another style of these fun blossoms. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.